What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another episode of PS4 Jailbreak Tutorials. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install package files via FTP. This is going to be a real quick episode. So obviously I showed you guys before in episode 3 how to install, uh, you know, how to use the remote package installer, which allows you to install package files remotely over your network connection. Um, but a lot of people want to know how to use FTP because on 7.55 there's a lot of people running into issues using the remote package installer where it crashes or where the you know transfer stops randomly so you know being able to install with ftp is great especially for example if you're using a phone and you want to copy your game package files and your apps uh, over to the ps4 with your phone instead of having to have a computer uh, so that you can copy it to a usb drive so yeah this is a pretty handy thing i don't know why i haven't covered this earlier in the series i did mean to but just never got around to it. So, okay, so in order to do this, you are going to need an FTP client like FileZilla or WinSCP, or if you're using a phone, obviously you'll need some kind of FTP client on your phone. Uh, there's lots of FTP apps for Android. I'm sure there's some for uh, iOS as well. So anyway, what we need is we need this internal package installer homebrew app by 0x199. I'll have a link to it here in the description. So just go ahead and download the package file. So this is a homebrew app that just allows you to install the package files on the hard drive and obviously we use FTP to copy the files to the hard drive in the first place. The only thing is to install this package file initially, um, if you don't have like the remote package installer, then you are going to have to use a USB drive just initially to get this one package file installed for the internal package installer. But once it's installed, you'll then be able to install future package files uh, over FTP instead. So let's go ahead and put this on a USB drive. Make sure the USB drive is obviously formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format. And make sure you're putting the package file on the root of the drive, not inside any folders. And then you should be good to go. So we can go ahead and eject the drive and plug it into the PS4. And then on the PS4, you're going to run your exploit host, whichever one you're using. So we'll just go ahead and clear our browsing history and load up our exploit page so again i'm still using caro 218.ir obviously there's night king's host prb's host um wolf games host and lots of other hosts that you can go to that have the jailbreak that you can run so i'm just using caro 218.ir we're currently just loading the webkit exploit right now and once the webkit exploit loads successfully you'll then be able to load the jailbreak and once that loads successfully, you can then run your, you know, Gold Hen payload. So I would recommend running Gold Hen because it has the FTP server built in. So you'll then be able to copy your package files over FTP once you run this. So run Gold Hen. And then once that runs successfully, you can then go on to settings, go down to debug settings, game package installer, and install the internal package installer app. So we'll install this. And we'll go ahead and add this to our homebrew folder just to organize it. So we now have the internal package installer installed. So now that we actually have that homebrew app installed, we can now install package files via FTP. So obviously you just need to have FTP running, whether that's from Gold Hen or Orbis FTP um, or any other FTP, then you should be able to go ahead and use this. So all we have to do is run an FTP client like FileZilla or WinSCP. And in the host box, you're gonna type in the IP address of your PS4. So obviously when you run the gold hen payload or any FTP payload, there's a little notification that pops up in the top left-hand corner that tells you what your IP address is and what port number you need to connect to. So on a gold hen's case, it's 2121 for the port number, but a lot of other FTP payloads for the PS4 uh, use port 1337 like Orbis FTP so bear that in mind also if you don't get the notification when you run gold hen or you run your FTP payload with the IP address and port number you might not be connected to your network so just make sure that you are connected to your network on your PS4 so now that we've done that we can go into the data folder and this is where you copy all of your package files that you want to install over FTP so Essentially, all you need to do is find a package file. So I've got Fallout 4 and an update for Fallout 4. So all I need to do is just drag those package files into the data folder, into the root of the data folder. 
and as you can see here it is transferring them now a lot of people ask me questions when they see the speed of this transfer over ftp how on how on earth am i getting such high speeds uh, transferring over ftp obviously if i was doing this over wireless i would be getting much slower speeds but um essentially what i'm doing is i just have my computer connected to my ps4 with an ethernet cable and then i'm using connection sharing uh, in my network settings on my computer to share the wireless connection that my computer is getting from my router and sharing that connection with the ethernet adapter on my computer which obviously the ps4 is connected to with the ethernet cable so i'm basically just sharing the internet connection from my computer down the ethernet cable to my ps4 so they're directly connected with an ethernet cable so i can so whenever i transfer a file it's just going straight down that Ethernet cable to the PS4. That's why I'm getting such high transfer rates um, for, for example, this 30 gigabyte game that I'm installing, which is already about 24% done. Um, obviously, so if you're doing wireless, it's going to be considerably slower. That's the only thing with uh, transferring package files this way. The other, there is another big disadvantage to installing package files this way which is that you require double the amount of storage space on your hard drive that the package file actually takes up. So in this case, let's say this package file here is about 30 gigabytes. That means I need to have at least 60 gigabytes of storage space on my hard drive in order to install this. And the reason for that is because obviously we're transferring the package file to the hard drive right now, and then we're going to install it. And when we install it, that basically creates another copy of it on the hard drive um, so that means we have two copies of the game installed at once. That's why we need double the storage space available on the hard drive in order to be able to uh, actually uh, install this. Um, obviously, once it's installed, we can then remove the one that we copy to the data folder so that it's no longer taking up double the amount of space. So it'll just take up the normal amount of space. But to initially get uh, the game installed this way, you do need to have double the amount of storage space on your hard drive that the package file actually takes up. So that is um, one potential problem. And for some reason, it didn't copy this one over the update. You can see it's zero bytes. I don't know what went wrong there. Let me try and copy it again. I've been having issues with um, with FileZilla lately where when I try and copy multiple files, it, it runs into these critical file transfer errors for some reason. But uh, yeah, so here's the update copying over now as well. This is only like, you know, a few gigabytes. So it's taking not very long at all to copy that over. Okay, so now we have the game and the update copied over to the data folder via FTP. Now we can just install it by running the internal package installer on the PS4. Okay, so once you have the package files copied over to the data folder, all you have to do is run the internal package installer on your PS4. So we just hit run, wait a few seconds, and boom, there you go. Added to downloads, as you can see right there. And there it is. It is being installed. Uh, so there is another downside to this, I suppose, which is that compared to the remote package installer, you have to actually transfer. You have to wait for the game to transfer uh, over FTP. And then you have to wait for the game to then install afterwards once, once it's copied over. Whereas with the remote package installer, you're kind of installing the package file as it's transferring which is better obviously for installing things quicker you don't have this kind of two-step process but again this is over ftp so you can literally do this over your phone if you just download a, an ftp app on android or ios download a package file and then send it over via ftp and then you can just run the internal package installer on your ps4 to install that package all right, there we go. So the game is now installed. And then, of course, the update is ready to install. Sometimes if it installs the update first and then the game, then you got to watch out for that because what it'll, what it'll sometimes do is it will keep the update waiting to be installed and instead of actually installing it. Now that the game's installed, we can now just tell the update to actually install right there and click start. And then that should be the update installed as well. Boom, there we go. For some reason, whenever you install an update from the notifications, it just decides, hey, I'm going to launch the game for some odd reason, uh, even though I didn't tell it to. But uh, yeah, there you go. So let's go to information. As you can see, we're updated to 1.20. The game is installed. We're all good. But then, of course, if we head back to, to the computer, then we can go ahead and delete these files now from the data folder now that they're installed. So we can just delete those. 
And there we go. That's it. The game's now installed over FTP and, you know, you don't you're not taking up double the amount of space on your on your hard drive anymore now that you've deleted the original package files off the data folder. So that's it. That is how you install package files remotely using FTP instead of the remote package installer for anyone who's having issues with the remote package installer or just wants to be able to use FTP to install package files, especially if you're using a phone or tablet or something uh, to download your package files and you want an easy way to transfer them to the PS4, this definitely does the job. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.